Hi everyone! So it's been a while since I've done a video. I thought I'd do a quick update on uh, how I'm still using my bullet journal. And I'll go back to where I left off. I believe my last video was showing you how I did the memory page for Allison. I am still keeping up on that. It's not completely filled out, obviously, because there really hasn't been too, too much going on. There's a couple things I need to add here, but anyways, I'm continuing, I was continuing with the same type of format that I had where I was doing a day at a time and then doing a week in the review um, at the end of the week. And I really liked this format. It worked really well for me, but I wanted to kind of try something different in the following months. So here is something that completely failed. I was trying to do a sleep tracker. Um, I still want to do a sleep tracker and somehow incorporate that into my bullet journal for at least a few months. Um, I have a really bad uh, sleep schedule, so I'd kind of like to work on that. Um, so I'm going to incorporate it into, it into my bullet journal somehow. Just haven't figured out how yet and uh, how to remind myself to keep filling it out. So something new that I have incorporated is a work schedule. Now I uh, obviously I work from home. I uh, do YouTube, not just this channel, but also my Tangle video channel. And um, I also write books for my drawings and stuff like that. So um, I really wanted something that was going to put my work schedule on a full monthly view that I can really look at and see, okay, this is what I have planned and, you know, stuff like that, where I can write a lot more than uh, what my original month, because at the beginning of the uh, bullet journal, I do have the months all laid out, but this is for more personal things that are going on. A lot of stuff for Allison, and I just can't, I don't have enough room to fit all of Allie's stuff going on, all of my uh, personal stuff going on, plus all of my work stuff. It would just be too much. So, I set up this work schedule and it goes Monday through Saturday because I do nothing on Sunday other than hang out with Allison because that's pretty much the only day I get to see her. Uh, she has band, she's in marching band, so she has that uh, four days a week and she has competitions on Saturday. So I only get to see her on Wednesdays, which she's doing all of her homework, and then Sundays, which is my day for her. So. I have that day off, um, but I have all of my things that I want to do for the um, for the month written out. Uh, this is working for me, but I haven't really been able to uh, implement it into my life just yet. I'm just for the last couple months, I've just been trying to figure out how I want to set this up. Um, and figure out if it's going to work for me. And I think the only change that I really want to do is make sure that I'm doing these in erasable pen so that I can move stuff around more easily without having to cross things out. Um, but I'm still undecided about that. Maybe I do want to leave it so I have to cross things out and write it in a new day so I can see where I'm slacking off and things like that. So that is what this is and so we'll keep going this is my new setup um, that I am absolutely loving um, here I have just a little week at a glance uh, so this is everything that it would be on my monthly view so anything that's on here like working in the med tent and Allie's practices and football games and stuff would all go into that section here and um, so it just lets me see everything right at a glance without having to flip uh, back to the monthly view. I also have my weather tracker, which this is the first weather tracker that I've done a really good job of keeping up on. Um, so I am loving this. And then I just put in what week it is somewhere on the page. I used to have dinners on here. Uh, I had this for a first few weeks or so, um, but I have switched my dinners and my whole meal plan and everything over to a new bullet journal just for meal planning and just for um, different recipes and things like that. If you want to see that bullet journal, let me know and maybe that'll be my next video or something. 
these are this is a section for things that I need to buy this isn't like a grocery list this is more of stuff that I know I'm going to forget uh, if I don't write it down right away like orchid pots and headphones and I just just random objects that I know I need but I keep forgetting I still have my week in review I still love doing this it allows me to look back and see exactly what I was doing that week because a lot of the times I think oh I never do anything but then I look back at this and I'm like oh well maybe I did a little bit more than I thought um, so I'm starting to incorporate pictures here I don't know if I can get a close-up on this so you can see this picture actually uh, Now this little blob here, this is Lily, that's her little face, it says hi auntie on here because I went with uh, my sister-in-law to have her ultrasound done uh, back in August but she, or actually when was this, back in September she um, had an ultrasound done. Uh, now Lily is here, she was born on October 7th so you'll see that coming up in my planner as well. Um, so I'm starting to incorporate pictures and things and I was doing a little next week type of thing but I don't really need this as much as I thought I was going to so I stopped this in a couple weeks. So again still doing the same layout on this right hand side is like my running to-do list where it doesn't really matter what day it gets done it just needs to get it done. Uh, you can see I have next week there but nothing's written in it so yeah. I like this layout because I can uh, do lots of different colorful things with it and play around with it a little bit. So here you can see I've gotten rid of the dinners and uh, this is actually two weeks because um, I knew I was going to be busy doing one thing which is drawing and uh, coloring my current book projects. So, um, I didn't really need this big long to-do list here and so I decided to do two weeks on two pages so a week for one page and a week for the next page and you can see it starts becoming fall lineup so I start putting in my uh, TV shows still have my weeks in the review this is one of my favorite spreads now. This is a uh, pumpkin spice adventure. Allie and I decided that this year we are going to try as many pumpkin spice flavored items as we can find. And we've found several so far. I just haven't colored these guys in yet. Um, but we have tried all of these so far. And she still has more that she wants to try. Like uh, uh, there's pumpkin spice mini wheats and things like that. So. This was a lot of fun to draw out and uh, I've had a lot of fun keeping track of what we're doing and what we're uh, trying out. So far our favorite is Dunkin' Coffee. Now we're getting into adding more pictures. Allie is in marching band like I said so I just put a picture of her uh, in her little marching band hat. This isn't her uniform obviously but her hat and uh, a little picture of her and her friend Kaylee. Um, you know, I think this was at Pepmand or something, so I'm starting to do more uh, pictures. I started to add a, a daily task list. This hasn't really worked out for me. I still have it, um, but I, I just haven't been keeping track with it. Um, again, this is going into October. This is my October work schedule. I didn't actually do the things that were on any of these pages because, like I said, I had that huge project. Um, Again, I'm just more or less trying to figure out what days are going to work best for what, so. This is the next week of October, and I still have, I still do my Dear Diary when there's something that I want to write that is longer than just my little reviews. Um, so, I do that when I need to. This week was the week that little Lily was born, and she was born on October 7th the day before my brother's birthday. My brother's birthday is on October 8th and uh, she was born at 3 49 p.m. and we were there uh, waiting in the waiting room and got to see her very shortly after she was born so we were very excited. There's my brother and Lily. Uh, she is just a wonderful little baby. And 
keep going. Still pretty much the same thing. Um, still doing my TV shows and yeah, pretty much same thing going on. Now here, this is uh, last week. Pretty much all I had to do was color and number my uh, current book that I'm working on. So that's what I was doing all last week. I didn't even bother doing a running to-do list because this is literally all I did. Um, I did keep track of my weather though and did my review still and uh, kept up with Allie's uh, practices and games and competitions and stuff. And this is this week. Uh, Allie's going to Atlanta so I put that in there and um, yeah no running to-do list uh, this week. I'm pretty much just relaxing this week. Uh, because of the huge project is completely done so I figured I'm gonna give myself a week off to just hang out with my niece and uh, my daughter when she's actually here and yeah the next thing I have done is added a quote page uh, I have been wanting to do this for a while and I don't know why I haven't um, so now I have one and I'm happy about it so anytime I hear something or see something that I want to put in my bullet journal just to remember that quote I do that uh, this is going into my November work schedule this is when I'm actually going to start using it so nothing is written out just yet but I do have Thanksgiving Day blocked off as well as the Gilmore Girls release because I know there's no way I'm doing anything on the Gilmore Girls release date and no way I'm doing anything on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Who else is looking forward to the Gilmore Girls release? I'm pretty sure everybody I know is. So, yeah. I did continue on uh, doing the same type of layout for the next couple months. Or for the next couple weeks. I am unsure what to do at the end of this year. Now I am on page 77 as of right now. I'm assuming I'll be at about maybe page 90 by the time I'm done with uh, the, the 2016 year. I do have a new planner, uh, a new bullet journal, which is just like this. It's just a different color. I got it in the berry color, which I've been wanting for so long but it has been sold out pretty much everywhere and I found it available on Amazon for a short time and was able to grab it up. So I do have that available to me but I kind of like the idea too of actually finishing the whole book no matter how long it takes me because I have never uh, filled out a planner or a bullet journal or anything all the way straight to the end of the notebook. So what should I do? What do you think I should do? Should I keep going in this same planner no matter how far it takes me or how long it takes me or should I switch over to the new berry colored uh, planner? So that is pretty much it for today's video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been around with that big project. I've just been crazy busy. I haven't even done anything on my drawing video page or video uh, YouTube channel. So it's not just you guys that I have been neglecting. So I'm very sorry. Uh, but I am back now that that project is completely done. And let me know if you, there's anything else you want to see. If you want to see that uh, meal planning journal that I have now or anything like that. So I will see you guys again very soon. Bye!